Hey guys, hey folks, dude, the Dutch here back. Mm. With some more Pills of Eternity because I was like, I'm interested in playing some more. Right. So I was like, why the hell not? So, yeah, last time, got ourselves into a bit of a pickle. We survived, but now we're in a cave, apparently, after some weird ass crap happened. So. A lower level of the ruins has been blocked off by fallen rubble. So yeah, now we're in whatever it can be described as ruins, apparently. And now we need to make our way through this place. That should be far enough. <sighs> but what now? Aiden's chest rises and falls visibly with each breath. Mm -hmm. We look for another way out. Storm has to die sometime. What happened out there? Well, clearly, so, clearly, not clearly, that's not a word. Apparently, or clearly, something went wrong. Something terrible happened outside. Kalisha shakes her head. Windstorm of any, of a kind they only get in air Glenfath. Glenfath. Not too many people live through them, so it's hard to know what's true. The Glenfath and the word is Biawa. Biawak. To them, it's the God's way of reaping the souls of the land that couldn't find their own way out. But they'll take the living soul. They'll take a living soul as soon as a dead one. Still got yours? Who attacked us? Land Fafins. Those be uh, the hut dwellers Odema warned you about. Look to be fangs of Galloway, who are the twitches of the lot. They go ruin to ruin looking for fights with colonists. Poor Odema. I think they have. I think you have expected this once we lost the main road. Glanfafa said we trespassed in the ruins. I don't believe that. Odema would never allow it. But as much as the fangs are hotheads, Glanfafans don't attack without being provoked. Either they saw something and got the wrong idea, or... She glances down the passage beyond. Or there's looters in here with us. That's not something we need right now. What about everyone else in our caravan? They're dead. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> After what was just described, I don't think anybody survived that. Kalisha's lips pressed together and her chin rumples. Her voice is faint. The wheels got hold of them now. She looks up. God's grant them better luck in their next lives. You don't seem too upset about all this. Kalisha looks you in the eye, a volatile current running beneath her voice. Maybe you just don't know me enough to know what upset looks like. And maybe I've seen worse too. Seen worse and kept on walking because there's nothing else to be done. And because there's others, other people you care about who still need you. Let's get going. Uh, awkward. So, up or down? I say up first. Let's see what we can find. It's got to be something around here, right? Wonder who was here. See if they left anything useful behind. Usually, people are still here. Let's see. A mace. Camping supplies and a hammer and chisel. I'll take that. You've discovered some camping supplies. You can use these to rest in the wilderness or dungeons. Fully restoring all your character's abilities and health. Easily dif easy difficulty allows you to carry more camping supplies, but hard restricts them severely. If you fully run out of camping supplies, try to find an inn. Most have cheap rooms available. Okay, so you don't regain health in any way but the camps. Interesting. Health is probably, as they said, health is the green bar. And endurance is the portrait. When that goes red, then your health starts dropping. And that's basically a bad thing. Let's just quickly see that mace. Okay, crush versus deflection. Uh, I think I can use that. She doesn't have, but she could use an axe and a buckler. You get to equip a bow. And I'll take that dagger. Okay. So we took that. So what's in here? Another torch and a small shield. Uh huh. So you can even equip even more weapon sets. They really want to make sure you've got everything you need. 
So, how do you switch weapons again? What you need? Okay, uh. never mind. Uh, I see. Uh. But at least I found something. That's at least something. Uh, some of progression for a change. Well, that seems kind of like a main path, so let's see what's down here. The hell is that? A trembly, a trembling, sickly creature emerges from the dark, clutching a spear. Knobby elbows and thin ribs show through its scaly flesh, but you recognize it as a xorip. It watches you cautiously, breathing in ragged sighs. Okay. I'll go with... It's okay. I won't hurt you. The Xarab recoils, fingers still wrapped tightly around its spear. The creature cocks its head and approaches you, a, s a soft clicking sound emanating from the back of its throat. The creature sniffs around you and finds nothing of interest. It steps back and resumes its defensive posture. Raise your arms and stand still. The creature cocks its head and approaches you, a soft clicking sound emanating from the back of its throat. Okay. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of creepy. So I think I was just gonna back away. The Xarf watches you watches warily as you go. So we could attack it, but I choose not to. So where does this lead to? Okay, the eastern reach is a dangerous place full of lurking enemies and carefully concealed secrets. Enable scouting mode to move stealthily and search for hidden objects like traps and secret Those doors. Those tiles look suspicious. Let's be careful. Before we do anything of the sword, let's first see if we can... Oh, that poor bastard didn't make it very long, make it very far, did he? Oh, so this leads to the same, but I can choose to... He's got a crossbow and, and Griffin relief gem. A tattered journal and some leather armor. I'll take that. Can I read the tattered journal? Huh? Right click for details. This small folio is torn this small fo folio is torn in several places and blood has soaked into several of the sheets. One la later entry is still legible, however. I can't believe my luck. A few rounds of dice and I've got my hands on a genuine and griffin artifact. Fellow who had it said it was a pretty, it was, pr it was a pretty nothing as far as he's concerned. He's not willing to go digging in some ruins, but if he's right about this gem leading to a hidden treasure, then that's worth sneaking past a few painted elves. I'll head to Kilanlis Ale. Uh, there's a weird symbol above the eye, so it's probably said differently on how I say it in the morning. Then it's just a matter of finding this relief he was talking about. I really don't know how to pronounce this part, so I'm just calling it Kilan Lee. Wait, do you hear that? What? I didn't hear. Oh, well, that's unpleasant. Okay, everybody just attack you. What can you do? Huh? And this is just a well. I don't want to know what the big, what the, what the, what the regular size is of that thing. Well, there's something to loot here, so that's always good. Another hatchet. Crack runs along this wall from floor to ceiling. A light gust of air passes through it. Use the hammer and just ooh, I get something I can use. You set to work. The cracks lengthen and widen with your efforts. But the process is more taxing than you expected. Sweat be it's your forehead and your muscles begin to ache. Continue chiseling at the wall. After several long moments, you begin to see light on the other side. With one final tap, several blocks of stone shift, then tumble loose, clearing a gap just wide enough to pass through. Oh boy. This could end badly. I could scout ahead, see what's around the corner. Stay quiet. Okay. How can I help? I don't know which corner, though. <laughs> so let's... Okay, so yeah, we got that. 
Scouting mode is used for both stealth and for hi finding hidden objects, like traps and secret containers. While, scout while scouting, your character selection circles will start to fill with yellow when a character is starting to detect them. Once the circle uh, fills yellow, the character is suspicious and will move to investigate while the circle fills red. If the circle becomes fully red, your characters will be discovered. A character's ability to find hidden objects is based on his or her mechanic skill. A higher mechanic skill allows them to find objects at a greater distance. Okay, can I sneak behind the guy and, you know, like, trick him? Okay, so... Oh, okay, we got even more. The text was in the way. Moving toward a character accelerates how quickly they will detect you. If you actually touch the selection circle of a character with your own, you will immediately be detected. So how does this work? Okay, so that's in there. So that's what this is here. What is over here then? Okay, so that moves on. Good to know. No, 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 no. Hmm? She isn't going to be detected. Oh, yes, she is. Ah, shit. Can you use abilities? Nope. And you go after him. And you as well. Okay. Huh? Let's continue on. Huh? Maybe you should go out of stealth. Alright. Sure. What do I need a scolder ear for? Eh, whatever. Don't still know what this stone is, though. Probably some kind of plot mechanic, you know? Like, not necessarily the MacGuffin, but probably some kind of gizmo. Do you feel that? There's a draft coming through that wall. I don't hear any sign of that storm either. Then we're probably getting close to the exit. Ah, uh, of course there's going to be. Of course there's going to be spiders because there's always spiders. Spear spiderlings. Okay. Yeah. Can you use an ability now? You can, but I don't see the point. Can you? What is it with you? Why can't you just use an ability? Lady, kick this thing. Mm. Thank you. Right. Oh, so there's multiple paths. That's pretty cool. I gotta admit, I like that. I don't think there's anything across that. It doesn't look that way, though. So, I think it's just smart to move on. Alright, then. Ah, shit. I'll be quiet. Oh, that's a... Okay, that's a big... S You're not very subtle, are you, lady? Okay, you go after that. It's famished, so it should be weak. Okay, you can go out of stealth. You stay in. Go after this. You use this on the big one. You go after the little one. Mm -hmm. Alright, resume. Oh, wait, hey, wait. You need to do something too. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I told you to use this ability. All right, let's see how this goes now. Did you use this? Hmm? All right, let's see if we can blind it. Apparently, it got I blinded it so badly it died. Death by blindness. What does it have? Spear spider leg. Right. I guess that's useful in some way. Whoa. <laughs> More trouble. Let's 
see. Is there anything else over here? What about this? Bats as large as chickens are strung in the web. Yes, the spider got a pr got a meal, a rapier, and bloodstone. Okay, well, a rapier it might be a bit more my style. And then we'll just place this here, and we'll give this to you. Okay. They'll never know I'm here. And you. How can I help? Take, take point. What about this? A help. That's it. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess he could use it because he can wear it. So, and it's the main character. I always equip the main character first, no matter what. Oh, it just looks a bit silly, but who cares? Finally, a damn exit out of this cave. But that's it. I guess it's still, of course, a bit of a tutorial, so... Well, at least we found an exit. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth, right? Well, now I'm at Ceylon Lee. Or whatever it's called. Lai, Ceylon, Ceylon Lai. You know what? I'm not gonna bother with... What, what you need? What's it gonna be called? Hmm. Anyway. It looks interesting. Okay. That looks creepy. Anyway, I think I'll just leave it for here. I'm making this a short one. If it is considered short by any stretch of the imagination. Anyway. Getting back to the point. This is where I'll leave it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And can let me know if you like uh, to see more of this. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!